Okay, so we just took the fish out of the brine and we're just going to season it up a little bit. Garlic. A bit of salt. And some pepper. And we got the barbecue warming up right now and we'll throw it on there and uh, we'll show you once we start smoking it. All right, ready to go in the smoker. We're sitting about 250. Gonna put these guys in for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll check on them and we'll show you how we debone them. Forgot to mention we are using the Traeger. Some of you may have never seen it before but they use these hardwood pellets attached to this and we have a couple of different settings and I use this thing for everything we use it for regular barbecuing, smoking we do all kind with this guy and we use this thing year round so we'll get back here in probably about 10 minutes alright so I know the barbecue looks pretty bust up and you're wondering how come well this guy's about seven years old so anyway we're gonna check on the fish we're sitting at about just under 200 right now so we're gonna pull them out and check and see okay so the way we check this is you take this fin and you try to pull it out okay it's not ready yet Supposed to bring the bones and everything out. So it's not quite ready. We're gonna stick it back in. It's supposed to come out like this, but the meat isn't supposed to be attached yet. So, so I think we'll leave the other one in for just a little bit more, maybe another five minutes, and we'll check back with you guys. All right, back to check on these guys. Start with the trout. All right, so if you get it at just the right time, you separate the ribs like this. If you guys can see that. Then the tricky part, getting hold of the backbone. Take them out gently like this. Pretty clean. Later on you gotta watch out because you can have a couple, couple stray bones. Mostly everything is good. this pull that one out pull this one never did doing kokanee before so I hope the thing acts the same there you go bones came out same thing with this guy flip them open Like I said, never did one of these before, so I don't know if the backbone will come out the same. Sorry everybody, experiment on this one.
not as clean, but pretty good. We'll check for small bones left over. Now we're going to put them back and we'll let them smoke for probably another 20 minutes. Go. Okay, just took these guys off the smoker. And last part of what I usually do is peel this skin off. I never did do a kokanee before, so I'm not really sure how easy it's going to be to separate. This guy is a little bit hot right now and the meat is still a little bit soft. So, right now, this side don't want to let go. Noticing that uh, some bones is coming away with the skin, which is good, but that means I missed some. So basically, what we have left, without filleting it, you guys saw what happened with the backbone and the ribs. No meat left on that. No meat left on the skin. Um, I said I never did do the kokanee before. I was kind of worried because the meat is a lot, a lot softer than the trout. See what happens here. Smoked it about 25 minutes, 25 minutes more. It hung about 200 degrees. Okay, this one had a little bit meat left. But there we go. We got the kokanee. And we got the trout, and that's what we got left.